Hello everyone. Let's learn Malay by just watching. Today we are going to chapter 34. I'm going to explain about personal pronouns used in letter writing. Chapter 34 or Bab 34. Pronouns. Personal pronouns used in letter writing. In letter writing, you have to use special words as personal pronouns. Study them carefully. Nature of letter To friends or male acquaintance First person pronoun for sender, sire To receiver, saudara Male, friend to friends or female acquaintance, sire for sender, saudari to the receiver. Official or business letters, sire to receiver, either tuan or puan, sir or madam. To father. Or person whose age is about the same as father's age. Sender, anakanda, means son. To receiver, ayahanda. To sons, daughters, nephews, or nieces. Sender, ayahanda, if the father sends. If mother sends, is bonda. Receiver, anakanda. To elder brother or elder sister. Male lover or husband. The wife address herself as Adinda. And to her husband or lover or to her elder brother or elder sister, kekanda. To younger brother or sister, female lover or wife, kekanda. Receiver is Adinda. To grandfather or grandmother, Chuchunda. Receiver, Nenda. To grandchild, Sender, Nenda. And to receiver, Chuchunda. All of these addresses are palace words used in the palace. But we use it in letter writing. The pronoun kekanda is sometimes contracted to kanda, adinda to dinda, and chuchunda to chunda. Model letters A letter from a young man who has just got a job in Kuala Lumpur to his father who lives far away in the rural area. This is the sender address. Pejabat Cukai Pendapatan Income Tax Office Bangunan Sulaiman Sulaiman's Building 50740 is a postcode Kuala Lumpur 2 hari bulan September September the 2nd 1999 1999 Kehadapan majlis ayahanda dan bonda yang dikasihi serta keluarga sekalian dengan selamatnya. Dear father and mother who are being loved, also all the family with safe. Dengan sukacitanya, gladly, anakanda maklumkan I want to inform that bahawa Anak anda telah bertugas di pejabat cukai pendapatan yang anak anda nyatakan tempoh hari. Gladly, I want to inform that I have work in income tax office that I stated other day. Ramai kaki tangan bekerja di pejabat ini. Many staff working in this office. Dalam bahagian anak anda, ada dua orang pegawai, enam orang pegawai kerani dan dua orang jurutaip. In my department, there are two officers, C 
six clerk officers and two typists. Kami di sini mula bekerja pada pukul 8 suku pagi dan habis pada pukul 4 suku petang. We here start our work at 8.15 in the morning and finish at 4.15 in the afternoon or evening. Waktu makan dan rehat ialah dari pukul 12.45 hingga 1.45 petang. Break time and eating time are from 12.45 to 1.45 afternoon. Anakanda berulang alik ke pejabat dengan menaiki bas intrakota. I commute to the office by intrakota bus. Tambangnya 90 sen sahaja. It's fair. It's just 90 cents. Ayah anda dan bonda, janganlah bimbangkan anak anda kerana anak anda akan menjaga diri baik-baik. Father and mother, do not worry about me as I will take care of myself. Dodol yang bonda minta sampaikan kepada makcik Rahmah telah pun anak anda berikan. I already gave to makcik Rahmah the dodol that mother asked me to give to her. Dia mengucapkan berbanyak-banyak terima kasih. She said thank you very much. Sambutlah salam mesra daripada anak anda yang jauh. Accept my warm greetings from your far away son. Anak anda yang jauh, son who far away. Azman Aziz Here is the police station A motto in police station Mesra Cepat dan betul Mesra means warm Warm greetings Cepat Swift Fast Betul Right or correct Dodol Is a traditional dish Traditional sweets Dodol is a sweet toffee like confection. It's made with coconut milk, jaggery and rice flour and is sticky, thick and sweet. In Muslim majority countries such as Indonesia and Malaysia, dodol is commonly served during festivals such as Idul Fitr and Eid Adha. It's Hari Raya. Idul Fitr is Hari Raya after Ramadan and Eid Adha is Hari Raya when during Hajj season. As sweet treats for children. B. A letter from a father to his daughter who is undergoing training at a college in Taiping, in Perak. Sender address. Dua Jalan Duku. Means number two. Duku Road. Kampung Jambu, Jambu Village 34,000 or 34,000 Taiping, Perak 21 hari bulan, Disember Disember 21st 1999 1999 Anak Asmah Yang dikasihi dengan selamatnya His daughter name Asma My daughter Asma Who are being loved with safe Surat anak anda bertarikh 15 hari bulan Disember Telah selamat ayah anda terima Your letter that date on December 15 I received safely Bersama-sama ini Ayah anda sertakan sekeping kiriman wang nombor AB 345789 bernilai RM2000 untuk kegunaan anak anda. Together with this letter, I attach a money order with number AB 345789 
worth 2,000 ringgit for your usage. Setelah anak anda membaca surat ini, after reading this letter, silalah balas. Please reply. Dalam bungkusan lain, ayah anda ada mengirimkan dua buah buku yang anak anda perlukan itu. In another parcel, I send two books that you need. Ayah anda dan bonda, me and your mother, berharap anak anda belajar bersungguh-sungguh kerana seperti yang anak anda nyatakan, peperiksaan akan berlangsung tidak lama lagi. Me and your mother hope that you study hard because like you mentioned before, the examination will be held after this or not long after this. Sekianlah ayah anda maklumkan. Now it's finished. I want to inform you. Sekian we use for if you finish something like finish your letter writing or finish your speech. Maklum means inform. Ayah anda, father, Ahmad Yunus. Duku is a tropical fruit like this and jambu. Jambu means rose apple. C. A letter from a girl inviting her friend for a picnic. 109 Jalan Malawati, Malawati Road. 68,000 or 680006800 Ampang Selangor 29 hari bulan Oktober Oktober 29th 1999 1999 Saudariku Asmah Keluarga saya bercadang Hendak pergi berkelah di Port Dickson pada hari Ahad, hadapan, bersamaan 5 hari bulan November. Saudariku means you, saudari, you for female. So here the sender use to address her friend. Her friend name is Asma. So dear Asma, my family want to go or to have picnic. Bercadang also means plan. Plan to go picnic in Port Dickson on next Sunday, equivalent to November 5th. Saya gembira. I will be happy. Sekiranya if saudari dapat pergi bersama-sama. If you could go together. Kami akan pergi dengan kereta. We will go by car. Dan balik pada hari itu juga. And return on the same day. Jika saudari ingin pergi, if you want to go together, silalah datang ke rumah. Please come to my house pada hari Sabtu ini, on this Saturday. Terimalah salam saya sekeluarga. Accept my greetings from me and my family untuk saudari sekeluarga, for you and your family. Terima kasih. Thank you. Yang menunggu The one who is waiting Halimah D A letter from a customer To a bookshop manager Tan Kim Seng 24 Jalan Tuanku Abdul Rahman 24 Tuanku Abdul Rahman Road 50740 Kuala Lumpur Pengurus Besar General Manager General Manager of Pelanduk Publication Sendirian Berhad Sendirian Berhad means Private Limited It's private company Lot 10 Industrial Estate Subang Jaya, Selangor 15 Hari Bulan March 1999 March 15th 1999 Tuan means sir Per Per is a short form of perkara means particular Perkara pesanan buku-buku Books 
order. Sila kirimkan kepada saya please send to me dengan segera immediately buku-buku yang disenaraikan di bawah ini. Please send to me immediately the books that I have listed below. Number one, The Nadra Tragedy. Dua buah. The Nadra Tragedy, two books. Buah is a classifier for objects or cubical objects. The Maria Hertog Controversy Satu buah Dua Pelanduk Poket Kamus Peribahasa Lima buah Kamus is Dictionary Peribahasa is Proverb So, Proverb Dictionary Five Tiga Pelanduk Poket Malay Dictionary Or Kamus Bahasa Melayu 5 buah 4. Malaysia Income Tax Manual 2 buah 5. Chinese System of Food Cures 2 buah Bersama-sama ini Together with this Disertakan I attach Kiriman Wang Money Order Nombor AC 075472 Sebanyak 400 ringgit Total 400 ringgit, 400 sahaja. Sekian, terima kasih. Thank you. Yang benar, yours sincerely, Tan Kim Seng. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.